Hey guys, what's going on? It's your old pal CHH here. I'm glad to be back after a little bit of a break. I had the flu and it sucked. The older I get, like the harder it is to recover from that kind of stuff. But nonetheless, I'm here guys and we're starting off 2024 right. Today we're talking about a legendary film. Now this is a movie that's been out of print for a very long time. It's a movie called The Cemetery Man. Now here is a cover of the DVD art, which I have, but I, my room is a mess right now. I know it doesn't look like it too much, but beyond what's around the realm of the camera frame it's a disaster oh i have the dvd lying around here somewhere and I, i'm looking at it right now anyway that movie came out from anchor bay years ago on dvd and it's a legendary uh soavi film um it's one of those movies that i would hear about all the time this movie's insane you gotta check it out well i checked the movie out cemetery man aka uh, de la morte de la Mor. it was all that in a bag of chips it's one of those movies i can't really explain all that well but we'll get more into that it never came out on uh, blu-ray for a while i mean there was an overseas one but uh, the rumors i heard about it were they were were pretty abysmal picture quality was pretty poor on it and uh, really had no business being on a blu-ray disc this was a overseas release but we'd been longing for this movie to come back in print for a long time it's one of the few titles there's still some out there don't get me wrong but it's one of those bigger titles that have been kind of lost in print for a while and finally it's here from seven films we've got De La Morte, De La Mor, a.k.a. in America we call it The Cemetery Man. Incredible release, I want to say, right from the start. Let's talk about this film for just a minute. Now, I'm not going to spoil the ending or anything about Cemetery Man, and that's what I'm going to refer to the movie as in this review, Cemetery Man, not De La Morte, De La Mor. That's how I know it as Cemetery Man. That's how I'll continue to refer to it as The Cemetery Man. Cemetery Man, I'm going to just say it in a blunt way that I don't think you'll hear in a lot of reviews. And I'll tell you why I think The Cemetery Man is revered as one of the best Italian horror movies out there. You ready? Because stuff actually happens in this Italian horror movie. I'm just gonna say it. In the first 15 minutes, you see bodies rise from the grave, you see bodies go in the grave, you see new characters come in, you see characters die, you see their heads blown off, you see bodies coming from all over the place, you see blood, guts, hysteria, all within a 15 minute period. Cemetery Man is an interesting film about this groundskeeper who has an assistant with them that's very, this kind of like ditzy, kind of silly character type that's supposed to be like his help and uh you're supposed to kind of like him and you do um he has a funny name in the movie and the lead actor rupert everett is so good i love him so much rupert everett was literally the perfect person for this movie the thing about the cemetery man that i think you the audience are going to absolutely love is the visuals i mean this is one of those movies that when you think about stuff called the cemetery man de la morte de la Mor, and you think about what it could look like. There's two instances in my life where things actually match the movie I had in my head. When I saw the cover of Hellraiser, Hellraiser 2 was the movie I had in my head in terms of intensity. And when I thought of a movie called The Cemetery Man, the visuals that were in Cemetery Man actually met what I had in my head. Rooms with skeletons and all kinds of dripping water everywhere, like a nasty, gross feeling. It was matched so well in this movie that what was in my head um what is cemetery man what kind of movie is it it is a bizarro kind of dark comedy zombie somewhat romance uh italian weird gore fest yeah it's like a bunch of things wrapped into one but beautifully wrapped into one the italian horror genre is certainly a uh, acquired taste if you will it's somewhat like beer like you try your first beer and you're like this is it then you kind of drink more and more of it and you start to like it cemetery man is like a nice hard cider from the start you know you get that sweet taste which i love hard cider by the way you get that nice sweet taste but you still get that alcohol kick in it and it's just boom you like it right from the start what i'm getting to say is it doesn't get much better than this quite frankly but yes the cemetery man i mean this is one of those movies that there's a lot going on and every scene has insanity happen every scene leads up to something and the visuals are going to be breathtaking to you there's a scene where you see this girl being buried and she's in a glass see-through casket and it's so freaking haunting uh, it's so morbid, but also so cool to look at in the film, too. 
Uh, like I said, the visuals are the most impressive thing out of anything I've ever seen. This is Swabi's best film, hands down, the director. Hands down, Swabi's best. Uh, the Cemetery Man is literally a 10 out of 10 movie to me. I can't explain it to, to people exactly. It's kind of like Phantasm. But I always say, you gotta see it. Here is the release that we're getting for this movie. And we're going to look at this in detail. Uh, I want to say, I, I have been critical of Severin, and fairly so. Everybody knows when they had that Four Flies on Grey Velvet release, it was a little iffy. Let's just say like that. I was nervous, but I also thought Severin's going to get this right because I just have a feeling they, they have to. They don't have a choice. This is, they have to nail this. And I can say, getting this in my hands, Severin, good job, guys. You nailed it. This is a nice hard box for this release, and it's really, it's very, very glossy. Feels really great in the hands. Um... Uh, Here's the back side with the snow globe and the front. It's not embossed. It's a, it's a little bit embossed. You can feel it just a little bit. You can see my, uh, Michael Sovey at the top. Really great artwork on here. I love the blue hue with the Grim Reaper up there. Here's what you get inside. The first thing you're going to get is this book. Look at this image on the front. This is what I'm talking about. You're going to love this movie. Uh, let me make sure that there's no nudity in here before I show you. You know, it, it's it's the typical... I say typical. I shouldn't say that. But it's, it's the nice booklet with all the read-throughs and everything. Beautiful woman in the film, too. You can tell you guys are going to love her. Uh, this is just such a good movie. Such a good movie. This movie is all visual. Just all visual. It's, it's insane. So it's a nice it's a nice book. Um, it's keep <laughs> there, There's his helper in the film. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to love this movie. So really nice booklet. It doesn't have that uh, Arrow video booklet smell, but it still has a nice smell. And uh, here's our 4K case. There's no reversible artwork for Cemetery Man, but I like that it actually does say Cemetery Man on the on the front of this side. I think that's my preferred title for it. This is something I want to add. It's not something typical to add, but I do want to. I want to say I really like the 4K cases they used. They're the nice, sturdy, hard 4K cases. Uh, I always know that they're nice when they have an indent on here, when where it says 4K Ultra HD and a little bit of a raise. Uh, I know you guys, if you're 4K collectors and physically, you know what I'm talking about. These are nice strong 4k cases they snap so very happy with that uh and they are multi-discs so here's our first disc which is disc one uh the 4k movie here is uh the four, uh, the blu-ray version of the film here is additional extras oh these are both additional extras excuse me uh this is the movie and extras and then here's just extras and then here's the soundtrack so let me let me go through that again you get the 4k disc right there you get the Blu-ray film, in case you're not a 4K person. And then you get extras on that. And then a whole other extras disc. And then the soundtrack for the movie. So, uh, and I, like I said, a really nice 4K case. I like it. It's a strong, sturdy case. So, um, let's talk about the picture quality. And then we'll go over uh, the, the extras that are on the back. Uh, in terms of the... Uh, oh, you, that's another thing. It makes this sound when you put everything in. You ready? So... If you like that, it does that. It looks fantastic. Now, if you had the DVD and everything before, that's something that's really going to make you appreciate the picture quality of this release even more. Not saying it doesn't perform. It's a flawless 4K, quite frankly. Extremely natural. It's You, you cannot get better than what this offered, in my opinion. It looked great. The HDR, everything was just flawless. The colors were so great. Everything looked so natural. I didn't have to adjust anything. I felt like everything was boom, 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 right out. Um, now, having the DVD release, The Anchor Bay, really made me appreciate this film even more. And this is one of those movies, especially in the Italian genre. I'll talk about this in another uh, 4K review I'm going to do next. But uh, the picture quality being bumped up on these really allows you to enjoy these films more and really just more properly because these films are so visual and when you see some of these films in, in, in lesser quality you're missing that so yes being able to see the DVD version of this film and then seeing the 4k version just skyrockets the appeal of this movie for me and really makes me appreciate it even more so the picture quality and the audio on this quite frankly solid tens I mean just incredible incredible so uh, could not be happier with the picture quality could not be happier with the audio quality that alone would give this release to me a solid 10 but the extras are fantastic so let's go look at the extras and then we'll come back 
All right, guys, so on disc one, the 4K disc, we have a commentary with the director and the screenwriter. We also have trailers on there. On disc two, we have At the Graves, interview with the director, Suave, Of Love and Death, interview with actor Rupert Everett, awesome guy. She, interview with actress Anna Falshi, and archival making of. On disc three, we have A Matter of Life and Death, interview with Gianni Romali. We have Graveyard Shift, interview with cinematographer Mauro Marchetti. We have Head Over Heels, interview with actress Fabiana Formica, The Living Dead Mayor, interview with actor Stefano Maschiarelli. He's hysterical in the film. The Music from the Underground, interview with composer Ricardo Bessio, Resurrection, interview with special effects artist Sergio Stivaletti, Cemetery Gates, interview with set designer Antonello Gilang. We have Grave Encounters, interview with Alan Jones, author of Profondo Argento, the CD soundtrack, and we have Dolby Audio. Guys, that is it. The Cemetery Man, a.k.a. De La Morte De La More. This is Suave's best film to me, hands down. They've done some great ones, though. And um, I want to give it up to Severin. I, I'm actually, I, I gotta say, guys, this, you guys needed to nail this one, in my opinion. And not only did you, you nailed it. You didn't do anything weird or wacky with this release. You did exactly how collectors like it. Give us a nice hard box that gives it some nice presentation. Give us a nice booklet to look through. And give us a nice solid case. Additional extras. You guys did it exactly. You don't need to be the you don't need to be the most different at doing something, but you need to be the best at it. And this is a contender. Even though this is considered a 2023 release. Uh, for me, I'm going to consider this a 2024 release since I got it basically on, like the last day of this year, this past year. This could be a contender for me for one of the best releases of 2024, hands down. And I anticipate it staying in the running for that. So great job, guys. Guys, listen to me. I don't care if you're a 4K person, if you're not, if you're a blue person. If you are somebody that doesn't screw around with Italian horror much, if you're somebody that's just like, uh, you know, I'm, I just don't think it's my thing. If you don't take a chance on Cemetery Man, you're doing a massive disservice to yourself. This is one of those films you have to see before you die. I can't put it any other way. You have to see The Cemetery Man before you die. It is as bizarro, fun, and whacked out as like Dead Alive. I feel like these two movies could be a double feature. Like Dead Alive and Cemetery Man could be a great double feature. And they both have similar looking leads too, which also kind of makes me you know, draw an imaginary line between those two. So this release gets an absolute perfect 10 from me. Could not be happier. Good job, Severin. You guys did a great job, guys. That's the 4K release of Cemetery Man from Severin Films. If you don't get it, I feel sorry for you. Plain and simple. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.